Alright guys, so we're going to continue on today with our modern traditional house. As you can see here, I've added in a little bit of something around the corner, which I will get to in a second. But um, we are just pretty much going to be doing a lot of copying to finish off this house. The front here, which was the first two videos, is essentially all the work that you needed to do. Okay, I hope you guys also built yourself a tree. And we're just going to do pretty much the same here on all four sides. So around the corner here, what I've done is I've completely copied the first half of the house here from this wall to this white column here. And I've completely copied it to this side. Okay. But obviously it's opposite. Okay. So what you can do is go back and watch the first video on how to build that. Okay, it's exactly the same. And the only thing you'll probably be left with is this little corner here. Different, and you can just fill in that with some blocks of stone brick. Okay. That will do. Or maybe we'll make it a bit thick. Like... There we go. So that's all we're going to do. Um, obviously, we're not going to have a door on the side. So we're going to get rid of the door. And I'm also going to get rid of this kind of roof shape here. And that's what we're going to do for the side. So I'm just going to copy that wall over there to here. And just kind of miss out those two parts. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Um, I didn't show you me building this part because I already did record it and um, realize there's no point because it is exactly just the same. Um, if you're going to build it though, I can tell you exactly where to put the next block. We're going to make the corner like this, so you can place your block diagonal from there. Okay. And that block will be this one on the build. So you can try your best to copy that exactly. All right, I think, I think I got everything to be the same. Yeah. And then once I did that, all I did was bring this wall here down the way. And I will tell you exactly how much to bring that down by. So it's the same as over there. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yep, that's what I thought it would be. So you've got to bring that wall down from there all the way to there and make it 18. And then run this side. As you can see, I start building here and we're not going to build this. I'm just built this here to show you. This side is going to be again identical to the front. OK, so I've just built this wall over there. That's what it looks like without any of these white or roofs on it. This is just all the uh, spruce wood planks over that side and the windows. So once I add on the roof, it'll look like this side. So you can see the roof actually gives this a lot, a lot of detail. So again, you don't need me to show you how to do that. You can just watch the first two videos and just build it on this side. Again, you know where to build it. Once you have this wall in, you can go diagonal by one and then just rebuild this entire wall the um we'll finish off this little section here today because that's really the only thing that's going to be different and then once we've done this section you'll know how to build this entire wall and then you can fill it in on this side okay it might seem kind of strange that we're uh, skipping a lot of the video we uh only built one wall and kind of half a wall, so one and a half walls. And, um, but like I said, that will save like three or four videos worth of just repeated building. So there's no need for it. But as always guys, you can send me a message or leave a comment if you get stuck on any of this build. All right, guys, so what we're gonna do is we're just going to finish off the side. 
All right. And I think the first thing that we'll do is bring along the stone brick little balcony thing that goes across here. We're just going to bring that right along to the end. Okay. I'll need to turn this down actually because I still have it really loud from when I make notebook songs. I will just turn it down all the way. All right. So we're just going to bring this right along. And um, guys, I haven't been doing too much uh, modern builds. This is still the same one that I started a few weeks ago. And um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for tile update 25 because there's going to be quite a few new blocks in it anyway. If it's the same as PC 1.8, then it'll definitely be really cool for building. Obviously, things look much better with shaders and stuff on PC, but the uh, the actual blocks themselves are still cool. Hopefully we get a new texture back as well, that would be kind of nice. And um, what am I going to do here? Um, I'm going to replace some of these columns on this side, but I think we will... I'll just place one on the end to start with and see where I'll put another one. Actually, have I got columns on this side? I do. Actually, yeah, well, we can just put columns on the side as well. So I've got one, one, two, three, four along. I'll place one four along then. Let's see how it works out. One, two, three, four, and then one away from the wall. That works out. Guys, we're just using the same materials for this build as we've been using. So you should already know what to do. The best thing about um, the new update, guys, is definitely going to be the fact that you can turn off the weather. Because I hate when it rains. Because I have to wait till it's night. And um, obviously when I build, I prefer to disable daylight, but then when it rains, I have to just wait for the rain to go away. So that's kind of annoying. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this column here. Yeah. That's all we've done for here, so that column will be okay. I'm going to see where I built the other one. Um, it was one, two, three, four, five. A space of six in between that and the other one. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So again, even this side, guys, we're still kind of copying just the front. But because there's some changes to it, like the roof, then we will... Uh, kind of make it different. Alright guys, I'm not going to do that because we don't have the doors so it's going to be uneven. So I'm just going to build this let's see, one, two, three away from there maybe and see what that looks like. Yeah, I think that will work out by putting these and I'm going to put in a big window right here because, well, that's what it looks like it should have a big window. I'm going to make sure that it's even. Three, four, five, six, seven. And that leaves a space of two on that side and a space of two on that side. Yeah, that works out good. Alright guys, so we can just dig out a window here. I think we'll go all the way up there. We can make them the same as all our other windows. So it's quartz up the side. You could fill it in with glass block. And then we'll have a line of slab going across the top. Like that. Um, actually, it's a line of slab, one underneath that, is it? So, there. Um, yeah, actually, on the downstairs ones, we have the slab going across the other way. So, I'm going to see what it looks like. Like that. Okay, guys, I like that. I may even see what it looks like, like that. Yep. I like that. Or even if we go across there, you can destroy all of that and fill this back in with spruce wood. And we'll see what that looks like. Alright, that's my favourite one so far, so we'll stick with that one. 
Um, obviously, there is still some detail missing from this bit, but we'll just go on to the upstairs to start with. So we're going to use the same windows again. We're just going to dig out some. So I'll put four wide there. So that's two away from this edge. I'll do the same here, two away from the edge, one, two, three, four, and that leaves a space of two in the middle, which will be okay. We'll just put a little window in there. So we'll dig out this, dig out that, and quartz block. All right, guys. Um, I also want to say I'm having a competition on my Facebook page, which is linked in the description, to win a free t-shirt as part of my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So don't forget to check that out, guys. It's free, so there's no harm in entering. Okay, all you have to do is just like, comment, and share the uh, post on Facebook. All right, guys, this is looking good. We still have to add on the roof. The roof is what gives things lots of details. So I'm going to add a torch onto there. I was thinking if we put a line of quartz going up here, then that might add in good detail, but that does mean that we'll have to move some of this stuff over by one, which is what I'm definitely going to do, because it makes it look a bit less plain, which is definitely what we're going for on this build. So I'm just moving all this stuff over by one. Okay, so we can have that line of quartz block going up the side here. So we can move all this over by one. This window will just have to be one less. So it's gonna be six instead of seven. There we go. And then finally this column can be moved over by one. So like I normally do guys, I just, I have no idea what I'm gonna be building when I start, so. We're just kind of making this up as we go along. And that can be filled in. And there. All right, perfect. All right, that's looking good, guys. And the only thing I have wrong with this one is the fact that this window here is a bit uneven compared to this one, but I suppose it doesn't make a difference. All right. So the first thing we're going to do now is, well, actually, I'm going to go to sleep so you can see better and then we can add on some roof because that's what gives this build most of its detail and then if we add on the roof we can see what else is needed added to help it look better so I'm gonna place one right there on top of that column and I'm gonna bring this right along to one past here I think yeah, I'll do that for now. And then we have to decide. I think what we can do actually is I'm going to add on some blocks to over there just so we can uh, see where it's going to attach on. But obviously you don't have this big guys, so you can't add it yet. But you can just ignore this bit for a second. I'm just going to see where these attach on. So if I take that one, for example, right along to here, see if it attaches onto there. It does. All right. So that's good. So we can destroy that. And we can rethink all this. Alright guys, so you can just bring this roof along here by one to start with, and then right along the back of this part of the wall, like that, and just bring it all the way down and past one of your wall, because obviously guys, you don't have this wall here or any of this, I'll just destroy it so you can see. So that's what yours will look like, get rid of all this. Yours will just look like that just now. So we're going to do that for all of this roof. Obviously, we can attach the other side to the roof that we've already built on 
the front part of the wall over there. So all of this can just get brought along. I think if we add in some slab as well to this part, I don't like this being flat like that, but what I can do is bring some slab down and over to create a little balcony over the edge of this wall. And we'll see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, there's still definitely some detail missing from this. I'm going to see again what we did over here. Yeah, I don't. we didn't do too much. It's because of the shape of this roof that's the uh, reason why it doesn't look so plain. I guess we could uh, add in a bit of roof here. Let's see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like that. And then we can use this and go up by one, two, three. One, two, and three. Bring that down. See, guys? That's going to look quite good. And then if we just move our windows over by a little bit. Always moving windows over. And there, we just have smaller windows, but we have a lot more detail on the outside, so that's uh, better, I guess. Destroy all that. There we go. That looks good. And then that way I can add on more roof to here. We can just destroy this slab that we just placed in because it's a bit too flat looking for my liking. And we can attach it on to the roof that we built here. Right, there we go. So if we stick these on to there, to there, you can destroy that bit so it attaches on. It doesn't want to attach on. Okay, we'll just leave it like that. There we go. Oh, we can just destroy this part anyway. And attach that on to there and to there. And like I always do for the top, you can just add a slab. And we'll bring this one down. I'm gonna sort these corners. All right, let's see what this looks like once I do this. I think that's it. We can fill this in. We can make these one higher, I guess, and see what that looks like. Or yeah, actually, we can just leave it like that. Alright guys, I like that. I'm going to stick this... I need to put stairs there. I might stick this over the edge by one. Just I like to add a bit of variety for all of the roof. Um, let's see, is this going to work if I put one down this way? Stick one there. Yeah, I guess that kind of works, does it? Yeah, I like that. Alright, so we can put one on... We can destroy this. We can bring that along to there. Stick it there. And then we can just bring this out. So it's the same as the other side. So guys, I think for most builds, um, I think the roof is definitely the most important part. And just, you can make your build look uh, so much better if you have a good looking roof on it. And then the best way to get a roof is to add some uh, cool shaped walls, so... You kind of have to think ahead. 
But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we have here. Need to bring this down. Perfect. This would look really cool with shaders on because there's so many different layers. Alright guys, yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. It was kind of a bit of a struggle to get here, but we worked out. Um, I'm not too sure what we're going to do here, but I don't like that window. I think maybe if I just bring along this. Yeah, that'll do. Just a shape there. And yeah, guys, I think that's it. Alright, so there's nothing stopping us from building this wall and this wall. Okay, but I'm not going to build those guys just now. What I'm going to do, though, is fill in this roof here at the corner. There's no need for me to fill in the other walls. Not yet, anyway. We built two. The other two are just going to be exactly the same. But just, you know, they're going to be opposite of each other, so they'll be on opposite sides. Mm, let's see, are all these going to join on? Alright, yeah, that will join onto there. Well, I guess they will because they're the exact same, are they? And then you can join this on to down here. I like building builds that have lots of uh, kind of strange shapes. I don't like building the inside of builds, guys, as you can probably tell, but I also I don't really have time to uh, decorate the inside. I do sometimes just build builds without recording and then I will decorate the interior as a video, but I prefer to build the actual build than do that. And I'm not sure if this is even going to attach on. It should have, but... Uh, I see what's wrong here. Because on here, I haven't copied it like I should have. These white parts here should be above the spruce wood, not on the spruce wood. And that's why it's not attaching over. Alright, that should be it now. Alright, so let's see if we go all the way along. And then that should attach on to this roof here. Perfect. And then hopefully this will attach onto something. It does. All right, that works out better. All right, guys. So that's all I want to do, just to show you what it would look like once the house is finished. You can see the entire house, what it looks like by just doing this corner. I will fill in a little bit of this as well. I'm not sure what that's going to attach onto yet. Well, obviously, yeah, it will attach onto there once it's built. But we can't do that yet. Alright, that will do for now. Alright guys, you can see here, this is what your finished house is going to look like. It's actually a lot better than I thought it would be when I started building. Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of the video. All you have to do now is copy this side to this side. And this side here to over here. And then you can join all the roofs. You're, you're gonna have loads and loads of space on the inside of here. It's huge on the inside. 
but we set out to make a kind of suburban house or a traditional house that was a lot more detailed than say like this one here and I think we got there so I'm very happy with what the finished house looks like um, I probably will have this house again in a video where I've finished it off but it probably won't be for a while okay guys so I hope you enjoyed the kind of final part of this tutorial if you did don't forget to leave a like and comment don't forget to check out the Facebook page as well for a free t-shirt and guys I will see you in the next video